Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So it's really funny when like I'm filming in the morning, I'm so disgusting and groggy and like uh, uh. <laughs> But when I'm filming like at night or like in the afternoon, I'm like uh, 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 uh. It's really hilarious. Um, I'm drinking coffee now. So hopefully we get that energy up and up and up um, <laughs> But as you saw by the title today's video, we will be doing a full face of subscription box makeup What? So I've had, um, I've gotten, well, I've gotten Ipsy since February, um, of last year. So I've gotten a bunch of bags since then, not every single month, but I've gotten quite a few. And then some months I got like, um, Ipsy Glam bag, BoxyCharm, and, um, Ipsy, just the regular bag. So I've gotten a lot of subscription box makeup, really. Um, there's quite a few of it that I've actually given away, um, and so... That's why I kind of unsubscribe to BoxyCharm. I only do Glam Bag Plus when I like see something I really, really want. And then like um, like in spoilers and stuff. And then uh, Glam Bag, um, I'm actually doing for October just because it's cheaper and then I'm still getting some makeup. So um, yeah, I've gotten a lot of bags. That's what the point of that was. <laughs> um, but they're also, it's really funny though because looking back, I look through all of my um uh, all of my bags for the past year basically um and i've never gotten a foundation or concealer in any of the bags once i got this weird spf tinted moisturizer type thing it was just a huge joke so i just threw it away like instantly i pulled out the bag and i was like this is ridiculous I used it once threw it away because it was just it you can't even count count that as a foundation because it was just a stupid joke so um, it's just like a random product, you know, um, so I've never gotten a foundation or a concealer I've also never gotten a bronzer a single pan of bronzer. Um, I have some palettes that I have bronzers in but um They're just not my favorite bronzers Uh, one is very very shimmery, which I don't like all the time and one is too light for me right now So not using either of those um What else? blush i've gotten a lot of single blushes they were just all terrible terrible shades like one was super super deep one was super bright um uh yeah there was just random but i have a good i've got a lot of face palettes with blushes and highlights in it so i'm really okay with blushes in that area um so the only three products i'll be using like not from subscription boxes are foundation concealer and then bronzer so um, yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. So, first primer I'm actually going to use, this is the Avant Pro Collagen, um, Primer, Pro Perfection Perfecting Collagen Primer, whatever. I got this from my BoxyCharm, um, for free for resubscribing. I just haven't used it a lot, so I wanted to put that in this Shot My Stash this week. Um, so that's why I'm using it. I've gotten um, lots of primers, honestly, even from Glam Bags. I think I like, I've gotten probably the most of primers in all my subscription bags because everyone just sends primer, but I love primer, so I don't mind. It's really nice. It's just like nothing extra special to me. It honestly just feels like a moisturizer, really, um, but it doesn't say much about it. Wear alone. Oh, I could wear it alone or under foundation. So I guess I could use this as a moisturizer. I might have to do that because um, I just have so many primers. And to me, it's nothing exceptional as a primer. It just feels very moisturizing. So I might have to move to my moisturizer, uh, to my skincare. I have lots of videos planned. So I have lots of makeup out here, but it's just really funny. All right, so I'm just going to do primer, uh, foundation, and sorry. I'm just going to do foundation and concealer real quick, and then I'll be back. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in the shade F12 and then my e.l.f. 16 hour Camo Concealers. I'm probably going to use the shade, shade Tan Sand. So, Okay, so just moved a little bit closer because I felt like I was really far away from you. <laughs> so for powder, I'm going to be using my um, Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I got this in a boxy charm. Um, this powder was not my favorite. I haven't used it in a bit though, so we're going to use it today. Um, see how I like it. I love the clasp. I love the packaging. That is already like 10 out of 10. Um, but it has a little mesh in here. I just love it. So I'm just going to use this, um, elf pointed powder brush. And then we're just going to dip it in there. Tap it off. And just set my eyes with it. It is very, like, cooling. And I love that about it. 
but I also want it to be, you can see all the powder, <laughs> but I also want it to be a good powder. So I don't want just a cooling aspect of it to like kind of bl blind me to the fact that it could not be a good powder, you know? I'm also gonna just set the rest of my face for a minute. So I don't know, right now actually it's applying really, really nicely and I don't hate it. Um, yeah, it looks pretty nice. It does make my makeup look lighter. I just, it just does. And I don't mind though, because that, that foundation is gonna, honestly, you guys saw how pasty I was in the beginning of this video. The foundation was a little dark. It matches my arms, um, but not really my neck. So, um, it's just a little dark for me, um, right now, but I just go from color to color. So, um, I think in the fall, I'm gonna really like this powder because I won't, it won't be, you probably won't be able to tell as much how light it's making me. Um, so I do like it. Um, it actually applied really, really nice today. And it looks like really smooth and fresh. And I'm really happy because I thought I was going to hate this and I don't hate it right now. I'm actually really liking it. So, off to a good start, peeps. Off to a good start. Alright, and then for bronzer, real quick, I'm just going to use the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Press Powder. I'm just going to do that real quick. I wasn't going to use this product because this bronzer is too light for me, but I think it might work right now. This is the Bahama Mama um, Bronzer just by the balm um in this palette i'm actually going to use it to diffuse kind of this bronze over here because it's looking a little harsh um so hopefully yes it'll just um diffuse it a little bit i really want this bronzer to work for me i wish it was like a little bit deeper um because i was really excited to get it and like it's just sitting there it's just sitting there i can use it as an eyeshadow so it's fine but because it's in this palette but I want to use that as a bronzer because everyone loves the Bahama Mama bronzer. If you're new here. <laughs> All right. And then for blush, um, I have this uh, Madison Miller and Ofra palette that I got um, this month, actually. I'm just going to use the blush in here because um, I really want to keep testing this blush out. And I was really excited about it the first day I used it. So we're just going to keep testing her out. I really do feel like you have to build this up. And kind of it's not super pigmented off the bat which is actually really good especially if you're a little bit lighter than me um, just because you don't want it to like smack color on your face I'm a blushaholic I like to think of myself as a brush blush professional at this point who can't even say the word right <laughs> um, so like I want it to go on and then want to be able to blend it out but um, for some people it's better that they can build it up so you know it's a-okay I'm not mad there's lots of shimmer in it is it because of the highlighters yeah, this is a completely matte blush, but on my face there are like shimmers in it. I think it's probably because my brush is too big for it. It hits the sides of the highlights and it just puts highlighter all over my face. I'm not mad at it though. It looks pretty, so who cares? All right, and then for highlighter, we're just going to use the same palette. I also have my Ofra highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive, but I really want to use um, one of these right now. So we're just going to take my fan brush and dip into this deeper shade over here. I haven't used this one yet on my face, so we're going to try to use that one. Ugh, super powdery. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, I like this one way better than I like the other one. Ugh, you can't even see it on my face, so I really like that. And it's super blinding, super beautiful. It blends in with the blush nice. Yep, this is the highlighter I like. This is the one for me. I did not like the other highlighter in here. This first one here is just super, super silver. It's really hard because it's super, super reflective. But this one is just super silver that I was like, no, girl, I cannot use this. So I'm glad I like the other one way, way better. And it looks really, really nice on the face. I'm sold. I'm sold. I love over highlighters, too. Well, at least I like this one a lot. So I was really excited about that, but I like both of them. All right, and then for brows, we got this new... This is actually the first brow product that I got in a subscription box, which is cool. Um, this is the Wander Beauty Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil. I got the shade Taupe because I'm an idiot. Um, I got this in an Ipsy. I think I said that already. But anyway, we're just going to use that to see how Taupe works. If I can make it work for me, I don't know. I don't like dark eyebrows in general, so I like to go medium brown, like um, uh, brunette or anything like kind of that's not black or dark brown. Um, but you know, we'll see. I've never tried a taupe brow pencil. Okay, so looking at the brows, they actually you can't really tell that it's the wrong shade for me. 
Um, again, like I don't really do much to my brows. I just kind of frame them, fill in any holes and stuff like that and just leave them looking natural and stuff. I do feel like this product is kind of not hard, but it's not very creamy on the eye. It doesn't like glide on like my other brow pencils do. So that's a little bit um, annoying, especially when the shade's too light for me. I really have to build it up, so I'm pressing really, really hard on it. Um, I, but the shade actually doesn't look super, super bad. I really like it. Um, it's just gonna in the morning when I'm kind of rushing and I have to like build up a color um, a lot. This just takes a little bit longer than I'd like a brow pencil to. Um, so I really like, I like getting it in my box. It's just not something that... I would repurchase or anything like that but it's cool that i got a brow pencil in my box like i really enjoyed that i really need to go get my eyebrows done in general so we're just not gonna worry about them all right so next is eyes which where is it where oh right here <laughs> i'm an idiot all right so for eyes i'm gonna use this tarte bu naturally eyeshadow palette um i got this in a boxy charm they had another option that month for a face palette which i would have liked better but since I have so many face palettes that I've been getting a subscription box, I'm really happy that I got an eyeshadow palette that I liked. Because I got rid of every single other eyeshadow palette that I got in a box. I know, right? And then, like, all my Ipsys give me singles, and I don't like that either. So we're just going to dip into this cream white shade. And then we're just going to use, we're using this Luxie 250 Large Eye Blending Brush. I got this in a boxy charm. A boxy charm box. Who says that? Uh, I don't know. Someone who does subscription boxes all the time, though. Is it Kathleen Lights? It might be Kathleen Lights. My boxy charm box. It's definitely Kathleen. All right. So then, that was really nice. It went on like really smooth. So then we're just gonna take this shade up here. It's this cream shade. Um, they have names on it. I think it's to say shade Explore or the shade Stay Break. I don't know. Because it's never, you never, I can never tell, you can't even see it. I can never tell if you're supposed to read it the way you look at the eyeshadow palette or if it's the way like they're back to back. I never know. But anyway, we're taking the cream shade right there. And just taking the same brush and putting that in the crease. I'm so excited to use this palette this week. So I'm actually filming this. Like I just did my shot, my stash and filming this the next day. Um, so I haven't used it really much uh, yet. I'm going to be posting it later in the week. But I haven't been using this palette yet, but I'm so excited because I just, oh my gosh, these neutrals speak to my life. Speak to my life. I got some highlighter right here and it looks funny. <laughs> it is like the perfect neutral crease shade and I'm really, I'm really excited about it. Really excited about it. And honestly, some days I know I'm just going to throw this in the crease and go like this. Like, I'm not even going to add anything else to it. All right, so then I'm just going to take... Ooh, I really want to take that champagne shade. All right, we're just going to take this shade right here. Again, I don't really know the names. I can't tell. Um, but it's just like a shimmery shade. I'm going to take it on a Luxie 246 Precision Crease Brush. Again, I got this in my um, Boxy Charm. I'm trying to use my subscription box brushes um, as best I can. Um, but I don't want to do too, too much to the eyes, really. The only thing about this brush is that it's so tiny, it takes forever to build up some shadows. It takes literally forever. Okay, is this um, shimmer... This Tarte Shimmer, my favorite shimmer sh um, shade of life. No, sh favorite shimmer formula, no, but I really, really liked it. It went on pretty, pretty nice. Um, it took a little bit of extra work, but I don't mind because the shade is beautiful, guys. The shade is beautiful. Um, so I really, oh my gosh, and it smells delicious. It smells delicious. So that's all I'm going to do for the eyes. I could take this deep shade and like deepen up the outer corner. I'm not going to do all that, but if you have this palette, go for it, girl. Go for it, girl. All right. And then, I have makeup everywhere. Eyeliner. You get a lot of eyeliner in subscription boxes. I'm just not going to use an eyeliner today. Or I've gotten a lot of eyeliners, at least, in my life. Um, same with mascaras. I've gotten a lot of mascaras in subscription box. Um, I actually has never, have never gotten a mini mascara. I've only gotten full size, like, in my BoxyCharm and in my um, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and in a Lure Box, I think. But, um, never, I've never gotten a mini one in my Ipsy bag. But anyway, we're going to use the Maylee. Um, above me, uh, what is this one? Above and beyond mascara. I knew it. Why did I second guess myself? I don't know. But it looks like this is not my favorite mascara I've gotten. This is really not my favorite I've gotten in a subscription box. It's just super, super clumpy. And although it makes your lashes look voluptuous, it's just so hard to like take the clumps out and make it look nice. 
Um, so I like to combine it with another mascara, which I'll show you in a second. People always say like the more mascaras dry out, the more they like them. And I'm like, that's not true, but it's so true. There's a lot of mascaras that have dried out more and I'm like, oh, I love this. Like this one looks really nice and voluptuous and it makes your lashes look super, super thick. And I like that, but I feel like it's because the product is drying up. So it's not picking up as much product on the brush as it was in the beginning. Cause even so I scraped it off a few times, but not as much. I, I would scrape it off like four or five times while I'm trying to do my mascara and it's just super annoying. So I'm gonna combine it with the Il Maquillage High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. Um, this one is super, you can see the wands, they're very sparse and like very good at just um, lengthening your lashes, spreading them out and doing all that. So I really like this mascara. And then this combination is divine. Divine. Oh, just look how much better that looks. Come on girl, this looks amazing. I just, I love it. I love this combination of mascaras. I really wish I didn't have to use them together because I have mascaras that I like that do this, but just like I only have to use one of them. But the combination is amazing. All right, so and then just to um, slowly finish this off, this is the Pixie Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil. I love this thing. I got this in an Ipsy. If you can't hear over and over, everything I love is just from an Ipsy. And uh, don't get me wrong, there's been a lot of products that I don't like from Ipsy, especially like the Ipsy Glam bags, the regular ones, um, of mini products. But like, BoxyCharm just loses to me because Ipsy just, really, when they hit it out of the park, they hit it out of the park. Far. Anyway, and then last to finish this off, um, <clears throat> we're going to use, should we use this one? No, we'll use this gal. This is the Loritzi Cosmetics um, Lip Gloss in the shade Vibe. I got this in an Allure box, which is why I wanted to use it because I use nothing really from Allure. Um, but they actually, I have four products that I've kept from Allure box. Um, and I think I got two different boxes. So, um, and then there have been other products that I liked for a while, like my Ofra highlighter in um, the Everglow highlighter with Nikki Tutorials. That just broke, so I had to get rid of it. But they've had some really high miss uh, hits. A lot of misses, like nothing that I would resubscribe to them. Um, for, but um yeah this lip gloss is totally a hit I love it especially for fall I'm so excited mm. and then it's like the thick mascara I mean the thick lip gloss that's not gonna um that's not gonna like dissolve off your lips like all of a sudden it's really gonna um last a lot longer than regular lip glosses so I really like that but it's also not sticky so she's a hit I like this lip gloss a lot actually um so yeah guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this full face of subscription box makeup. Um, I love getting subscription boxes to me. It's really, it's just so worth it a lot of the time. Um, I think personally you don't need to get BoxyCharm and Ipsy. I think just pick one or the other and then you're good to go. Um, because BoxyCharm, I, and, I, and I personally would um, suggest getting just Ipsy because BoxyCharm for me, they're just very, they just, they'll throw two three hit products out and in this thing and then the rest of the products are just like and eh, they'll just like just to get to five products you know and it's super super annoying especially if you don't like one of the three hits products like you're just it's just a lot of waste um i've not kept a lot of um boxy charm boxes um products just because again they're just they're just a miss so um i suggest ipsy because you can do your profile and they know what you like and a lot of the time they once you like like again like i said they're there when they hit it out of the park they really hit it out of the park so if they give you some Thing that you like um, or the, like is marked in your profile you're gonna super like you're gonna love it love it love it I've just seen so many people I watch um, um, unboxings all day long because I just love them and just so many people are just like whoa 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 I'm like this is amazing great great so um, I choose ipsy but you know your preference of course um, so I really enjoyed using my subscription box makeup this week yeah I'm looking forward to getting a foundation and a concealer and a bronzer sometime in the next couple months please fingers crossed I'm hoping to get a foundation in my October um, bag because I saw a little sneak peek hopefully um, but I definitely want to get a bronzer and a concealer as well so we'll see girl I'll update you of course um, that's it for this video I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one bye guys